have uh, Coach Nell with an opening statement, and then we'll open it up uh, for questions for players. Yeah, feels good to win in March, doesn't it? You know, really yeah. excited, really, really proud of our team and the way that we played today. You know, sometimes whenever you have just a longer break between your last game and then your game, you know, in the postseason play, um, sometimes it takes a great amount of focus and a great amount of just, you know, mental preparation and endurance to be able to step on the floor and play the way that our team played today. And I'm extremely proud of them. I felt like their, their hunger, you know, after the conference tournament was at a really high level. I felt like our practices had been good leading up to this point. You know, with the game, we were able to, to really get some defensive stops early, which allowed us to get into our transition game. And when we can get into our transition game, our team can be so dangerous. You know, we had so many players contribute. Again, the, the balance of our team in two ways, the balance of our team from a contribution standpoint to have players all over the court that are contributing with points and rebounds and assists. And, and then to be able to have a balance of a team that's versatile enough to be able to be successful on the defensive end of the floor and successful on the offensive end of the floor and play both ends of the floor really well like we did today is really impressive. You know, Tamira is, is one of the one of the elite competitors that there is in, in this country and she shows up and she she wants to win absolutely every single possession and you see her guarded in lots of different ways and you see her successful through all those different defensive schemes that, that come at her and, and her ability to play all over the floor and her versatility does so much for us, you know, offensively. And then Elisa she is I, I, I'm so I'm so proud of Elise because Elise works so hard every single day she's getting in the gym and she's working and she's 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 done that since day one when she got here and when you do those things when you invest in the process and you embed in the process like Elise did when your opportunity comes you're gonna find success and so we're really excited about you know her playing with so much confidence and being able to to contribute so much today let's uh, get questions for players Okay, well, let's start with Elise then. 18, which is a career high for you. Um, how did it feel to be the difference maker out there today? You know, it's like she said, um, I've been working for this moment for since day one. So when once I got the opportunity to like just play my game, I just stepped down and did what I did. Tamira, obviously 21. Um, how did it feel out there to be able to play at this level? You know, you guys talked a lot this week about wanting to go get those rebounds and then get right down on the court. I feel like you really did that, especially beyond the arc. Um, just kind of talk about the, the team chemistry that you had today. Yeah, I feel like we did an amazing job tonight, just pushing the ball and transition and sharing the ball. Everybody was a point guard today and brought the ball up the court. So I think that's what really got us going. And just everybody just playing the role and playing hard as they can. Tamira, please talk about uh, uh, Tamira, just talk about was 37 to 9. Could you have dreamed to start, imagined to start like that in a WBIT postseason game? I'm not gonna lie, I I didn't, but that just <laughs> that just shows how how like what we can do our team, and if we just lock in like this, and we can do this like to anybody, to everybody. And for both you and Elise, uh, talk about the challenge you get off to the big lead and you haven't had a lot of big leads early early this year like you have tonight talk about the challenge of maintaining that lead throughout the entire game and not letting them really make a serious run yeah I mean coach Angie's been emphasizing like throughout the whole game that they're a very good shooting team they score in sections so it is pretty easy for them to come back so we really just had to stay locked in and focus and just push through our fatigue don't let our fatigue base yeah just allow them to go on a run. Yeah, allow them to go on a run. Don't let us, because, because we're tired, don't allow that allow them to go on a run. Yeah, just like she said, and then just staying on the gas and never letting up. Can we, is it, co is it coach's time now? Anything else for players? Oh, I mean. That way we can excuse players, they can go get dressed. That's fine. I'm okay. Anything for players? Awesome. Yeah, okay. Good job. Thank you, ladies. Good job, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Raven. <laughs> coach. <laughs> Questions for Coach. Um, you know, we were just in you know post game with Arkansas, and they he really gave you guys a lot of juice about this game. Um, he said that you may say that you guys didn't play very well. I feel like this is one <laughs> of the best times that you guys have played this season, especially rebounding. That's something that you wanted to implement this year after being out rebounded all season long. 26 out of the 44 rebounds for the first half. How do you feel like that really was a factor today? 
Yeah, I felt like re the rebounds that we got was huge. You know, we were able to out rebound them, and, and really it was the defensive stops and, and the way the way that we um, the, the way that we created those rebounds for us is really key to know because Arkansas is a really good team and, and they're a good shooting team, they're a good driving team, and they have a post presence. So there were so many ways that they could hurt us and we knew that they were going to be able to get the shots that they wanted. We wanted to make sure that those shots were contested. So when we were able to contest those shots, maybe alter the shot just a little bit, it created the opportunity for those rebounds and our, our players did such a great job on the boards. I thought we got, I thought we did a great job all the way around on the boards when you look at the rebounds it's very balanced rebounding seven seven six I thought our guards did a great job of going in and rebounding I think Elise had seven of those rebounds and it's always going to be a total team effort but that certainly played a part because the, those defensive rebounds that we got also allowed us to play quicker in transition too he also just talked about the uh, the atmosphere that was here today we've talked about it all season long the way that you guys have been able to bring in fans how great was it to be able to see them one last, maybe not the last time at Reynolds, but could be uh, just about how it was how it was tonight. Like it was a not a postseason game. It felt like a senior night. Yeah, you know uh, the community in in the city of Tulsa and the support that we have here, it's unbelievable. And I say that almost after every single game. You know, we feel the love, we hear them, we feel the support. You know, not just from an attendance standpoint, but we feel it whenever they're you know they're yelling and they're cheering for us in great moments and the way they encourage us and in some tougher moments. And and I just think it's been able to to grow over time. But but I will say this: our young women as role models. You know, they're excellent in the community, the way that they serve in the community, the way that they go into the community, and they do it they do it out of the goodness of their heart. They don't do it so people buy a ticket and come. That could be part of it, but they do it because they have love for the community, and I think that just creates such a special connection. Coach, how important was it for you to um, not just win tonight, but to win like you did with a full 40 minutes and to put in order to put the ECU game behind you and to move forward in this tournament? Well, I, I think you saw that hunger that we talked about. You know, we weren't satisfied in our conference tournament, and I think you saw the hunger in the game tonight for that. You said it earlier, not many games are we leading, you know, by that much. I think there's been three games where we've had that kind of lead, you know, at halftime. But what you see is a team that can play with the lead. You see us over time being able to learn how to do that. If we hadn't had the experience that we'd have to be able to grow and develop and understand, you know, how to manage the clock a little bit, how to take care of the ball, how to make sure that we're getting our best shot, those kinds of things. We've seen those leads that we've had also dwindle. And so I'm really proud of our team. I'm really proud of the way that we handled, you know, playing with a lead. And I thought that I thought our players did a great job. Yeah, Coach Neighbors had mentioned that you guys had played in a preseason game behind closed doors. Can you just talk about how you saw your team kind of grow from then to now and then also how you may have seen you know, Arkansas change from then to now? Well, you know, those things are closed scrimmages, so I don't believe that we're allowed to, to comment on what, what happens kind of between behind those closed doors. You know, we have two teams that, that are familiar with each other. We played them last year in a regular season game at their place. And so we're, we're familiar with each other's players. You know, we're familiar with each other's style of play, you know, which sometimes whenever you play a team in, in postseason in March, it, that's not always the case. You don't always have that familiarity. Sometimes you're playing a team from great distance or a team that you haven't played before. You know, I think having that familiarity familiarity with each other benefited both teams, you know, to be able to understand the style of play and what you may want to do defensively. You know, you asked me about our players' growth, you know, our, our growth and development this year. It is still ongoing, but but it's just been, it, it's been incredible. You know, the way, I think Elise is a perfect example, the way our players continue to develop over time. You know, the players that we are right now are not the players that we were in November. And I think that that right there says a lot about our players and the way that they work and the way that they focus on the process. It also says a lot about my staff. I have a great staff, you know, we, we focus a lot on player development over the entire year, not just in the off season. And so I'm excited for where our team is. I think we have more growth left in us and we're just really excited to still be playing in March. Any other questions? Yeah, uh, Coach Neighbors also said that he thinks that just kind of that start that your team got off to just kind of maybe <laughs> took the team out of the game right off the bat, Arkansas. Um, just what do you think of just kind of the way it seemed like your team maybe fed off the energy of the arena and got that, that type of start? 
Yeah, we certainly felt the crowd from the beginning, you know, and they were a huge factor in the great start that we had. You know, when we stepped on the floor, we know that we want to throw the first punch, right? And so whenever we, figuratively, when we want to throw that first punch, we want to be the aggressor. We want to be aggressive offensively. We want to be aggressive defensively. And, and being able to find that success early, being able to feed off of the crowd's energy, being able to have all of that package together, being able to shoot the ball really well and rebound the ball, that helped contribute to that great start. Anything else? Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Thank you all.